Hey, we're at Qualcomm's headquarters in San Diego. They're about to show us a new ultrasonic fingerprint reader that fits underneath the display of the smartphone. We're going to start seeing this in products starting next year. All right, so this is the uh, development phone that's connected to basically what is a dummy phone with a fingerprint reader uh, in the display. I'm going to put my finger here, and it should unlock the phone. There you go. Because this is using a uh, kind of jury-rigged setup with two different devices, it's actually not as fast as what it'll look like in real life. Once it's integrated into the phone, it's supposed to work a lot faster. Uh, right now, the only phones with an in-screen fingerprint reader use an optical sensor, uh, or essentially a light wave, to look at the, the fingerprint. Qualcomm's is different because it uses sound waves. Uh, it basically shoots a wave of pressure up from the phone onto your finger, uh, and sort of maps the ridges and valleys in your finger to verify who you are. And so Qualcomm says that this uh, is a both a faster and more secure way of uh, doing a fingerprint reader. You can also integrate uh, heart rate monitoring in addition, and uh, this also works when your finger is wet, uh, and it isn't affected by sunlight or any other light, which might affect optical in-screen sensors. You can expect the first phones with a under-display ultrasonic fingerprint reader to show up in the spring of next year. My money is going to be on the Galaxy S10.